All right, everybody, we hope you liked the show and we hope you read the blog. We're now going to head up to the hands-on area so we can actually see what these products look like up close. So hang on, this place can be a little rough. There'll be a lot of journalists elbowing for space, but we'll get you some good videos and uh, you can see what everything looks like. This is the hands-on area of the Steve Jobs Theater. Now, when the reporters first come down, this is actually hidden by a movable wall. And after the show, they move that wall back and the reporters can go in there and see all the new products. Of course, the fun part now is getting through all the journalists and trying to see the uh, iPhones and everything else for ourselves. Now, first up, we have the new iPhone 11 Pro. You can tell that by the three cameras on the back. These are actually a very nice setup, but you can see them even better here against the gold. You can see those three cameras, which now includes an ultra-wide angle lens. These cameras are actually can take video independently, so that uh, if you're a videographer, you can actually see how each of your shots would look from various angles. Now also coming up we have the just regular iPhone. Now you can tell these are simply the regular version not the Pro because they only have the two lenses on the back. This is the uh, nice purple version out there and in a moment we'll also see the green version of the new iPhone and of course they have several other colors too including a yellow, a red, a white, and a black version. Very nice color selection and a little bit unusual for Apple. We haven't seen this much uh, variety in color in quite some time. Of course, we also have the iPads out there today, and at the end of this row, we'll have the iWatches. The Watch Series 5, of course, continues Apple's uh, focus as the watch as a health and fitness device. They've added a lot of new features here, uh, but one of the most interesting ones is the ability to always be on. Now, if you had a watch before, you know that battery life could be a bit of an issue, so the fact that Apple can now actually stretch it to a full day with never turning off is pretty good. We see the new iPhone Pro camera and some of the features they have built in with the uh, camera. And this includes a dark mode, which would mean you can take photos at night which in normally dark situations, and they will come out looking fairly well, much more bright as if you took them at sunset or sunrise. Of course, Apple has kept the portrait mode also. This is a very popular feature. Of course, the big new feature here is the three new cameras on the back, and Apple has put up a wide variety. The three cameras here are 26mm, 52mm, and 13mm, and they're all relatively low light capable. If you're a photographer, we're talking about 1.8 f-stop. Uh, beyond that, the rest of the camera is going to look very similar, not a whole lot of differences. Okay, everybody, we hope you enjoyed the show and we enjoyed the products. Of course, you can keep checking back with GolfNews.com and we'll have a, a story of everything we've seen today and a little bit of review of everything. Hopefully soon we get a chance to play with it ourselves. So anyway, I'm Scott Shuey from Golf News. Thanks for watching.